Hi, I'm Big Nicky. I was born and raised in Provo. This city is known for its music scene, tech startups, and being home to the BYU Cougars. What most people don't realize is that Provo is home to some of the best food on the planet. If there's one thing I know, it's good eating. I'm here to show you the most popular restaurants as well as some of Provo's best kept secrets. You're watching P-Town with Big Nicky. Hey, Big Nicky here. I'm at Sweets, just off of the Columbia Lane here in Provo. I'm with owner, head chef David. What's up, man? Thanks for having us, dude. Hey, thanks for coming So, by. we're here on a special day. It's Wednesday, and I hear you have a special item you make on Wednesdays. Yeah, we, we make a special item called Big Kahuna Burger. Dude, I'm excited. Let's get back there and let's check this out. Come on, guys. Sorry. Amazing. So man, we're back here in the kitchen. Let's get ready to make this burger, dude. I'm Let's excited. Yeah, man. So pretty much, let's get started with some onions. Okay. So, it's kind of like the uh, Big Kahuna on, um, what's that movie called? Uh, Is that a cartoon or live action one, man? Live action. It's live probably, action. never mind. It's rated R, really oh. rated R. Wait, no. Is it 50 First Dates? That no. one? No. It was uh, Pulp Fiction. Well, okay, yeah, no, all right, I know what you're making right there, man. It inspired this burger. Really? So we so, get some uh, onions. So you were like watching that movie one day and decided to make this burger? Yeah, so pretty much I just was like, oh man, <laughs> it would be really cool as if uh, an Islander served the Big Kahuna. There you go, man. So I was like, hey man, might as well do it in the middle of Provo, you know. There we go, dude. So, so you're we'll starting with the onions. the onions? Okay. Just get them on the grill real quick. Cool, man. I got some uh, marinated and brown sugar. Pineapple. Just get that on the. Whew. That's just like pure gold goodness right there. Then, my special stuff. The Terry Burger. The Terry Burger. All right, so what makes this special? In house uh, ground beef, 80 20 ratio. All right. And then we do um, our marinade, our house marinade that we do. And then I just throw some eggs in there. Oh, man. And then uh, a that's little no, bit of love. That's no teeny little burger either, man. Yeah. This is, oh, dude, that's awesome. This is the one. Whew. The Big Kahuna Burger. Oh, man. About eight ounces of meat, maybe 10. So this one looks fat. <laughs> you knew I was coming to eat this burger, I so. I was coming to eat. You're like, man, this guy, this guy knows what he's doing. You do, man. It's a special one just I know, for you, right. man. Thanks, man. I'm you know? excited, dude. Get some teriyaki sauce on it. Ooh. This is our in-house teriyaki sauce. It took about 26 years to make, but we're still, still making perfect. it. Yeah. This is like a family recipe then, or? Yep. Gonna pass that on, been passed down. Yep. Oh, dude. Keep it going, you know, a little bit of Aloha spirit in the middle of Provo, Utah. Oh, nice. I thought you were gonna be like, yeah, this sauce has been around for 20 years. <laughs> and so it's just a starter, you know? Well, this, this is from the original sauce. <laughs> yeah. My mom, she did what she could with it, and then, I came around and added a little bit of uh, lightning and thunder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then there you have it. And bam! <laughs> Get some buns. Oh, nice, man. So is it a special kind of bun or just an everyday kind of? I'm actually working on uh, with the owner of uh, Provo Bakery. I'm trying to get um, sweet Hawaiian rolls. Oh. Him making like a sweet bun with some uh, a real set of sesame. Yeah, yeah. It'll go good with the burger. It'll oh, enhance, for sure, like, man. The sweet, the whole different flavor type deal. So what got you cooking, man? My mom. Your mom. Ever since, so she started this back 20 some years ago. I used to skip school just to come and watch her <laughs> cook. I, just, I was always intrigued by her cooking. I was like the fat kid at the end of the table. As soon as like things fell, I was over there like oh, dude. picking it up. I don't think we would have survived in the same household. It would have been like two dogs fighting for it, man. I'd be like, give me that. Uh, I love, I loved eating. Oh, I dude. still love eating. So do I. This is smelling amazing, by the way. Thank you. And I'm just loving all of this. Like you got the caramelization going on, just all that bubbling. I'm, I'm excited. I've heard of Caramelizing is like the most important thing with our food. Like the more unhealthy it is, the more better tasting the burger's going to be. You understand that? Mom, the more unhealthy it is, the better tasting it's gonna be. That's always been my philosophy. Yeah, because then there's Vasa up the road or Provo, uh, recreational, you know? You can just go there and uh, act like you're working out and feel better. We are actually living life here, buddy. I know, right? We get the best. They wish they could eat this kind of stuff. That's right, dude. 
That's exactly right. <laughs> we live it every day. So I also heard you do a little bit of singing. Is that true, man? Yeah. So I do a little bit of singing on the side. Um, I think I started about five years ago. I started doing some music and did all the shows you can think of. X yeah. Factor, Voice. Oh, dang, man. And then uh, just started doing like traveling with a bunch of big acts, doing island reggae. Oh, cool, man. Different style of music. Very but, cool, man. So do you ever break out in song back here in the kitchen? Oh, yeah. When I'm feeling inspired, I just be like, dude. That's all I'm talking about. Let's do it. Let's, <laughs> let's do this right now. Let's start a kitchen rap song. Okay. I'm cooking in the kitchen. Cooking in the kitchen. Making some big kahuna burgers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Club diary. That's right, dude. That's how it's done. <laughs> get this rolling. We got the big kahuna coming. Nice. And now we get the egg rolling. Oh, man. So we're getting the eggs started right now. This is like one of those little special pieces on this burger, isn't yeah. it? it? Sets it apart. The yolk just comes running down your mouth. I feel like heaven. So any special seasoning and stuff, or just some yeah. salt and pepper? Or? Ramen noodle packets. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was going to be like, man, I got plenty of those. Dude. My mom, she thought I it was. I saved the noodles. <laughs> she thought it was ramen noodle uh, packets just because I've just been mixing and mashing all the different types of seasonings. I was going to say, you've now taken everything great. An egg, a bun, a burger with some slices of cheese, pineapple, onions, and ramen packet flavoring. That's how it's done, you know? I know, right? <laughs> Just throw a bunch of good stuff on a bun. Exactly, dude. That's just so beautiful. And it smells so good. So for those of you watching at home, I'm the first one to do Big Kahuna. That's right, dude. Terrible, okay? This, this is nothing like what we saw ever before. So if I go to your restaurant and you have a big kahuna, I'm shutting it down. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much you just wait for the egg, throw the egg on top, throw sauce on top, and then boom. Is it special sauce then? Or oh yeah, this is still our special. The teriyaki sauce on top, Ooh. oh man. That's like, that's like liquid gold right liquid there. Liquid dark gold. <laughs> Who oh, needs man. oil when you got teriyaki sauce? Clogs everything in your body. You <laughs> just feel good. Exactly, just dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so the yolk's ready. Everything's ready to go. Awesome, man. All right, I got the small plate right here, man. That's the small one, right? <laughs> Whew. Look at and that. And the finishing touch. More sesame seeds, more green onions, and that's your burger. Oh man. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Dude. Alright man. I I can't wait to eat this dude. Yeah, you need to try that. I know. We're gonna get some more food, get some garlic chicken on there. Oh, really dude? Oh yeah, I'm gonna make you a little plate. Oh man, alright. Well, let's, let's, let's test the sucker out right now, dude. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You brought me out a whole Thanksgiving feast. Yeah, I did. I mean, it's this like is how we eat every day. I was like a little nervous when you said small plate. I was like, okay, we're gonna have a small plate for the burger and then you brought out everything else. It's like oh, appetizer and the sides. Who needs french fries when you can have pulled pork, chicken, rice, rice teriyaki noodles, there we go, guava cake, and macaroni salad. You gotta have all of that so you can have that and then you could just, you know, take exactly. a nap right here. Well, see, and that's what I like, man. You got this like set up. This is like an oasis. <laughs> and lean back, fall asleep. It's nice and cool in here. You got the really nice music playing. Yep. It's got a nice vibe. I love the paint job. It's all about the place. vibe. And then you get your, you know. Get you, your zen on. You get your zen. Get ready to right, put dude. it down. Am I supposed to see this with like a fork or? Nope. With my hands. All right, man. You dude. need a fork to eat a burger? I don't know, dude. It's a where, big burger. Where are you from? I'm from Provo, dude. Oh, OK, OK. Then we eat it like this. <laughs> get it all out. Tell me how it tastes. Oh, wow. Heaven? Yeah. Yeah. That's I a, think Pulp a lot Fiction now may, may be my new favorite Tarantino film <laughs> because of this burger, man. 
This is the burger. That is the burger. And we're wow. not even a burger stop. No, you're not. And I would never expect to get like an amazing burger like this from a Hawaiian restaurant. Right? Yep. Only at sweets, baby. Well, that's right, dude. Sweets. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, with the pineapple. Mm. It's a good little uh, flavor mix up, huh? It is. It's like you got the sweet, the tangy, you got like the, the saltiness from like the eggs and stuff. It's just like really, really good flavor. It's just amazing. I'm it's, glad you like it. Dude, I love it, man. That's a lot of hard work. I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna knuckle that right there, man. That, that is good. It's like, just... <laughs> Yeah, he's going in, man. He's I am, going man. in. I am. Wow. Dude, this is awesome. I definitely want to try some of the other stuff as well, dude. Yeah. Who needs a fork anymore, dude? I mean, you might as well just go might on. As yeah. Well go, right? There you go. So, all of this, like family passed down recipes or? Yep. Nice. The basics of our restaurants all like passed down. And then what I did was just add a big kahuna. I added different flavors to the sauce. Just try to like, mm -hmm. you know, get inspired every day just to try to mm. have somebody eat food and be inspired by eating our food. Exactly, man. I think that that is probably the best advice I've ever heard, be inspired by food. Yeah. I mean, so many great things have come about yeah, I mean, because of a good meal and a good nap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good things came from this food. I mean, look at my hair, my mustache. Dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to roll, it, dude. you know what I'm saying? Exactly, man. It's like a party here. <laughs> so, 24 seven at Sweets. Well, not 24 seven, 11 to four, you can come party with us. Till 4 a.m., right? No, 11 to four, that's when we're open. Oh. After that, I go home, there's you go no home. more party. Oh, okay. So even on the weekend, same hours or? Same hours. Same hours. Except Sunday, because everybody's got to go to church and repent. There you go, man, eat too much. Yeah, a lot of Gluttony, sinning. man. The worst, the worst sin of them all. <laughs> I definitely go to church every week to repent of that. Oh yeah, same here, man, same. <laughs> so definitely, guys, be sure to be sure to come check out Sweets, just right off of Columbia Lane. Right? Columbia Lane, right across from the DI. Right across from DI, You're 7 Eleven West. You can't miss it. Big green building. We've got like the coolest graffiti art. Exactly, guys. man. It's kid friendly. There you go. That's right. Most of the time, people see graffiti, they're like, "Oh, that's scary." Yeah. Not, this this not is a here. place of love, happiness, and food. I mean, everyone's coming to check it out. You Even got the elders. Yeah, man, the missionaries are here to check it out. What's so, up, elders? definitely come check out this restaurant. So good. Thanks, David, again I for having us, man. It, man. Thank you, guys. Awesome, dude.